Hey guys, this is the professor, and I'd like to welcome you to the log cabin today because we're going to be making Dutch oven ham and beans. Now this ham bone was left over from Thanksgiving, and it was a great ham. We had ham for dinner, we had ham and eggs, and finally we have nothing left but the ham bone. So we're going to start with that and put that down in our Dutch. Next of all, we have our 16 bean mixture. I started with one and a half cups last night, filled, uh, filled this container with water, and notice that these have soaked up, maybe doubled or tripled in size. So let's go ahead and add them to our ham bone. And now we'll add enough water to cover. Okay guys, we're going to go ahead now and move our ham and beans over here to a tripod, a trivet, and also we're going to put some coals on the top, a modified holder. This works particularly well with the self-basting lid because normally the coals just slide off of that, but with this arrangement you can see here that the coals will now stay on there, they won't fall off because they're held in place by this hardware cloth ring. So that keeps the heat on the top as well as on the bottom. And you can see that our beans are really cooking up here. Okay guys, the ham and beans is done to perfection here. The meat's falling off the bone. The beans are cooked all the way through. I'll plate some of that up for you so you can see it. I just wish you could smell it though because it smells great. We'll have that with a slice of our cornbread, a little bit of our country sorghum, and we'll have a great lunch here at the cabin. Thanks for subscribing, watching my videos, and I welcome your comments. This is the professor, and I'll see you soon.